Game of Thrones nail art tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Begin by painting your pointer nail red, your thumb and middle nails black, your ring nail yellow, and your pinky nail gray. We're going to start on our index nail, which is House Lannister, and we're going to paint the silhouette of a line. And I'm using kind of, it's called light peach, I believe, the color of paint I'm using. I'm just kind of like a nudish color, or you could also use gold. So I'm going to start and I'm going to paint like his upper jaw and his snout area and then go up and around his head and in the beginning I was going to try and just paint in some of those hair details right off the bat but I quickly gave up on that and decided I'd add those in later which I do suggest you do because it would just be easier um, and you'll see how I do that anyways. So then continue and paint down for his body and I'm not painting the entire line because that would be really small and it's you can still see the whole line this way and it's a lot easier and you can actually see it better because you get a little bit bigger picture so then paint like down his body and I'm not painting like all of his hind quarters I guess but just like the tops of his legs of his hind legs and then paint his front arms that are kind of like up in like a roaring pose And his tail. Can't forget the tail. So now as I mentioned, I'm taking red acrylic paint. I'm just going to go through and you can fix things if something didn't quite go the way you wanted it to and add your details. So I'm just going to, you know, fix up his mouth a little bit and give him his eye and his ear and then just a few lines here and there just to show his hair texture. On our middle now, middle middle nail, which is House Targaryen, and we're going to be painting the dragon. And from the perspective I'm painting, you can't see that he's got three heads. And so we're just going to paint it from the picture I have. Um, so I'm going to start with like a circle that almost, it's not quite a circle, right at the top of the nail it's open. And then add a little triangle on the end of each of both sides of the line. And then continue and thicken it towards the bottom. And then we're going to be going up and painting the dragon's body. And I just want to say really fast that I do not know Game of Thrones very well, or at all really. Um, so I got all of my information from my dad, who's a fan. So if I'm saying something wrong or say something that's just really, if you were a big fan, you'd know that I'm saying it wrong. Please forgive me. I'm trying my best. So now I'm going to be adding our dragon's wings. And since red painting over black, um, red's going to be a lot thinner of a color, it's not going to be as opaque, you might need to add a second coat. So now, just like we did touch-ups with red to our line, we can do touch-ups with the black to our dragon. And the same thing, I'm also going to be adding a couple little details like some lines in the wings, and I'm also going to add some details on our dragon's face. On our ring nail, which is House Baratheon, we're going to be painting our stag. So I'm taking black acrylic paint, and I'm just going to start with like on um, the upper line of his head, and that goes out into his two ears. And 
then paint down his back. And just like on the line, how we didn't paint the entire, the entire line, we're not gonna be painting the entire stag. So I'm just gonna do like their, I don't know, from like their chest up on the, on our stag. So you are gonna see just a little bit of that arm that's up. And then add his horns. And then with yellow, add his eye, and just like the red might not cover, same with the yellow. So on our pinky nail, which is House Stark, we're going to be painting a gray dire wolf. Um, and actually, it's black. Again, the picture I have is not the same as all of them. Sometimes it's a gray wolf that's um, depicted, and sometimes it's black, but mine's going to be black. And since I don't have this exact color of gray in acrylic paint, and I'd have to mix it, and if you've ever tried to mix paint to an exact color, you know it's not very easy. I'm going to try my darndest to leave all of the places that should be that light gray within our um, within our wolf to stay that way. So I'm painting around them, so to so to speak. Um, it's not as easy, mind you, but it does work. And on the outlines down, like on his back and on his chest of our wolf, I'm doing these with a dashed line, and this is going to give you kind of a hair look. And as you can see in that one spot, I kind of filled it in with a with a stippling motion this gives it some hair texture there as well and finish with his teeth on our thumb is house gray joy and so we are going to be painting the kraken and i'm using the same color that i used to paint the lion which again is that um kind of a light nude peach color and start with sort of a rounded triangle about in the middle of your nail and this is for like his head and then add some more like his tiny little body below. I don't know. I'm just going to start painting his tentacles now. <laughs> and this is the same thing. If you don't get all of them on your nail, it's not a problem. You know, just paint what you can, what you can fit. And the tips of his long tentacles also have that little um, triangle or the little point on them. And of course, add a layer of top coat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my design and can forgive me for my goofy way of talking. Um, and I hope you share your recreations with me on Facebook and Twitter. I would really love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!